up, Lucky Nation? Hey, y'all got a chance to win this car for $25. $25, man. Hey, y'all waste more money on that on fast food. $25, man. You see it? The 20, the 20, the 20 twin, and the five, man. You can win this ride right here, man. All custom out. But yeah, the link is down below in the comment box and the description. And um, all you gotta do is enter the win, man. 25 bucks, you can take this car home, man. $25, man. I know y'all got it, man. And we're gonna feed the homeless. So it's going to a good cause. I'm not just gonna waste the money or whatever. I wanna feed the homeless. So we got aftermarket lights, custom rim. Look at the wheels. Custom tail light, carbon fiber, everything. Look at the roof. Carbon fiber. S S baby. Here goes the inside. You can see it. We got amps and extra battery. Feel the base. Oh, can't forget the heart of the car. The engine. Oh yeah. 5.3, two, four, three heads. So I got the LS2 heads on there. You see it. Reverse, reverse. Like I said, y'all, $25. You can get this car into the raffle. We're about to feed the homeless. And uh, we're gonna turn on, I'm also gonna record that too, just cause y'all don't believe me. And we're gonna go live for the giveaway. So y'all make sure y'all enter the raffle, man. The comments below, uh, just hit the link, man, and, and then everything from there. I think you need a credit card or whatever, but hey, you be good. 25, man. Hey, it's a sign, man. Let's get it. Yay! Lucky's Wheels and Dills, we back at it again with another lit video, you guys. So today, um, I want to talk to y'all a little bit about what been going on. So, where should I start? For starters, uh, we got the Tahoe. I didn't even record yesterday. I dropped it straight out to the mechanic shop. It was a uh, the leak. It was a small leak in the hose. We changed, replaced all. That's the reason why the coolant was low. The reason why. Uh, Oh, I ended up getting the car. It was running hot to Dodge. I, I'm all lost. I forgot to record that I got it or what happened. It, ran, it was running hot. So good thing it's running hot. So we got the car for the low. For the low, low. You know what I mean? Half the price what we was thinking that it, that it cost. People are selling them for like 10 grand. So y'all calculate half of that. Uh, y'all do the math on your own. <laughs> it's easy. Um, so you kind of know what we paid. And um, so I replaced it. We didn't have to do it, but I seen that it was messed. You know, I already had it at the mechanic shop. So I said, replace both tire rod ends, one CV axle, cause the, the, it had a rip on it uh, through the boot. And replace the battery, change the oil. So we did all that ASAPy though. But you know, with the, that thing made so tall, it seemed like it's all over the road. So we're gonna have to probably take it to a, right now it's at the detail shop. Uh, and then after that, cause you know, it's muddy and you gotta get it clean. You know, she's not gonna ride like she's like, ew. But, um, <laughs> so we got it at the detail shop right now. So she's gonna, uh, we're gonna have to find like a place that does the list and see, can they do anything to tighten up the suspension? Cause right now I feel like it's, all over the road and i don't know my mechanic said that that's normal but hey that hey that's not gonna work i don't know how y'all be doing it when y'all lift these vehicles up i don't know what's missing on or what's going on but man that's when i get back leave it alone you know same thing when people be trying to cam engines and make them super fast 85 to each his own but man, just leave the car alone or doing messing with the exhaust. Leave it alone. Like some uh, mechanics over here. I had to holler at them one time. Um, remind me of my grandpa and them when they used to have their little shop. You know, my grandpa had his little shop. He had his shop, didn't have the electric on or nothing. He had no license or nothing, but he had his little shop. You know, and he, you know, he paid his little rent. He was only he wasn't even paying that much, but shit. And then he was barely up there. But man, uh, what else? Um, oh, I got my player glasses on. Yeah, this is the first episode. 
that I got my player glasses on and then yes they are prescription and I could see way better it so it's like night and day I was like damn I didn't even know I was missing out my eyesight was getting so bad by being on the phone all the time playing the game watching TV and I didn't realize it so my mine's is just a slight off it's not that bad but these make a big difference I can see so far I like I just didn't even know I was like, I don't need no glasses. I was saying that for the longest, but I could see better at night. I was driving at night. Oh man, it's it's, it's amazing, man. Like man, but and then these also look player than Nikes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good. They're not bifocals, man. And then they uh, transitional, so they they turn into shades. So yeah, y'all probably wouldn't even notice if I didn't tell y'all. But um, anyways, guys, we keep it 100 on this channel, and um. So my Chevelle is done. Shout out to uh, Smitty's uh, Classics, man. We gonna, I'm, hey guys, awesome people to work with, man. Straight up, honest. He said, uh, so he got the rear, the, the rear end. He didn't change my rear end, he just changed the gears. I know I got a 4.9, I know I got the best thing in the game. I'm not changing that, I already know what I have, y'all. But I changed the gearings out and the gearings are for sale so if any y'all got i'm taking offers man you know I, i'm gonna be straight up i don't know how much but I'm, I'm selling to the biggest offer you know the biggest i'm taking the biggest offer and i know he said he got a couple of guys up there that's trying to build a race car in a 68 impala i need to go back up there and check out that 68 impala because that's something that i i want so that's uh, what they're building on so I guess one of his guys was thinking about buying that one from me since it's it got the spool in it and you know it's meant for racing drag racing and I'm not into that I want to drive mine on the highway so he said when it hits hold on I'm going back and forth so when it hits seven what 70 miles per hour it has a little shake to it he said maybe the uh, drive shaft needs to be balanced or something I said go ahead and fix that shake because I want to I want to be able to to hit it, you know what I mean? I'm calling it right now, man. I'm recording. Right. So, so I want to be able to hit that thing 80, 100 miles per hour without a shake. I want it to be smooth, man. So I just want to get all the little kinks. They they built that car very well. Shout out to the dude that built that car, but I'm just fixing the little stuff that, that they did not cover. Said they uh, damn, I messed my whole stuff up just by someone calling me. All right, so. It's all dang, they ain't even make a damn video. So, so he's gonna handle that for me. So, he fixed and uh, he's supposed to be fixing the tail lights mixed with the, the, the dash lights. There, since they're connected, he was telling me, Oh man, I hey, shout out to uh, I, for, I forget your name. Um, I see you coming down there all the time, but you told me about Smitty's. Hey, shout out to you, man. Hey, you're a lifesaver, and I think, um. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing the, uh, I haven't talked to my body yet, but go. Dang, UPS is in the way. Uh, so yeah, I haven't talked to him about it, but I think I'm gonna take my 71 Monte Carlo. I don't know, I'm thinking about keeping that 71 and, and sell it to the highest bidder. So I think that's the next project. I've been looking for a 96, so right now, to go back to the, the 68 Impala. Y'all know I love that 68 Impala. I love, shout out to the homie Stunner Reese. He got the 67, but I like the 68 because it got the tail lights, the round tail lights in the back that I like. But it's the same body style with the fastback like uh, the homie Stunner Reese. How Drax uh, uh, Impala look. He another real one. If y'all not subscribed to this channel, go over there and let him know. Uh, Lucky from, from the Lucky Nations in the building. Leave a comment on his newest video if y'all haven't go over there to Stunner Reese, man. A real one, man. Always been real with me since day one. Um, but, um, with that being said, so I was looking, I was supposed to go get this 96 Impala, man. So I was about to get this 96 Impala. Then I'm like, uh, after, after, let's see. I was supposed to get the 96 Impala. I was about to drive all the way nine hours to Iowa. I'm messing dude all week yesterday. I'm supposed to be leaving today. I was supposed to probably be halfway there. And uh, he was like, you know, more I keep texting you and thinking, I think I want to keep it or give it to myself for his 21st birthday. I'm like, man, I'm not going to be doing this again. 
I was like, strike four. I'm not getting no 96 Impala. Not no time soon, not right now. I was like, forget it. This, forget it. Never mind. I don't know. Never mind. Forget it. I don't want it. So that's the route I'm going with. I'm not getting no 96 Impala. I changed my whole mind. It just turned me off. I like, nope, never mind. Never mind, forget it. I said, it's not meant for me. It shouldn't be this hard for me to get a 96 Impala. I done had two of them before. When I got my Chevelle, easy. When I got my uh, IROC, easy. When I got my Monte Carlo SS, easy. Every car I keep getting, easy. But every time I keep slipping and I keep finding these little 96 Impalas, I was like, maybe it's not meant for me to get that car. I start thinking, maybe this is a sign. I need to take my sign and not go out and pursue this car. So I'm like, man, like y'all said in the comments, focus on the cars you got. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I, I forget that I got the 71. I got a real old school. 96 ain't no real old school. Yeah, it's a little, it's a classic car, iconic classic car, but it's not an old school to be real with y'all. 96 is not no old school, not to me. 80 model is barely old school. You know what I mean? Um, car rated cars, yes, but not too much. 80s is kind of, you know, kind of old school, kind of not. Depends on what generation. So, I'm like, man, I think a 68 Impala SS will look better next to my Chevelle. Like, I think that'll look, I think that'll be more, more better for the fleet than a 96 Impala. I don't know. Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about that. Um, why well, I'm fixing that 71 and I got, I think, I think this, uh, Money call this guy trying to um, sell me, man. We might, I might jump on this deal. He says everything there, but it's not, it's a non runner. He asked him like 1500. He was asking 2000. I'm like, nah, I can't do that on no damn project. I'm like, man, probably a thousand or something, man. It's a 78 Monte Carlo. Everything's there. It's already sanded down, ready for paint. Everything's there. So I'm probably gonna check that out. I'm probably y'all look out for that video. Probably get that, fix it up for the channel, and flip it or raffle it off or something like that. I might raffle it off or flip it. Y'all know I sell cars, so there's nothing for me to get money out of the, out of, out of the, uh, the cars or whatever. So I think it's the training day in uh, Monte Carlo. I'm not sure though. Let's see what? Well, I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure. Let me see. I don't know, let me, let me turn this around for y'all, for y'all can see it, man. Let me make sure. Right there. But, I mean, what y'all think? That body style? What can I do with that? Y'all comment below, let me know what I can do with that body style, man. Um, I'm about to go over here and pay for, they already got the title for that, they already got the title for that um, Tahoe I just bought it yesterday. That's crazy. So I'm up there, just left the bank. I'm about to go over here and pay for this car for I can switch this title over since we already throwing money at it, putting money into it. So, and um, yeah, that's about it, man. So I'm about to pull up in here and do that. Um, I don't know what else I'm about to get myself into today, but you know, I just had to get that off my chest one time And um, yeah, I guess I'm in a talkative mood today. I'm in a great mood. I'm feeling terrific. I can see I can see now it's a miracle I see clearly now that my glasses is on All right guys, we on to the next. Let's get it another day another dollar y'all man Y'all say y'all want me to get back to selling cars but I don't really want to. I don't want to do it, Charlie. But uh, but I got to, man. The grind must stay, man. I, man, the grind never gonna stop with me, man. I, I'm so good at selling cars. So today, so this is the car I was talking about. Money making shot. I bought this car just for him. I forgot what I paid for it or whatever. I forgot how much I paid for. I think I paid. Uh, I can't remember. Twelve, fourteen hundred, something like that. Somewhere in that caliber. I, I didn't want to buy it for me to flip. I wanted, I bought it for him because he wanted a work truck. So anyways, y'all guys don't know Money Maker Sean. He moved out. He want to save money. Um, 
I guess this this was too big of a project for him or whatever, and he's like, oh, this is gonna keep. I guess I don't know what happened, but someone got in his head and said that it's too big of a project for him. It's gonna cost a lot of money to get ready together. It's all like, man, he was trying to sell it. I like, I, was, I didn't know he was trying to sell it. He didn't even really tell me to sell. Where's the title at or whatever? And I was like, oh, I said, like, what are you trying to do? Sell it? He said, yeah. I'm like, man, I said, I'll give, I'll give you your money back. I'll, I'll just help you sell it. I'll just sell it. You know, and I was about like, <laughs> I told him that. That was almost a month ago. Three weeks ago, maybe about three weeks ago. And I just let it sit in my yard. I didn't even mess with it. Didn't have time. Y'all see me? I be busy. I ain't had time to even. All I had to do is spray this car off. I just, I just right now sprayed the engine off. Um, sprayed the whole car off. The other day I wiped it down. So yeah, I just been basically taking my time, not really rushing to get this car ready. Get my good picture, man. He's always digging in the trash. You dig for gold. So, anyways, guys, man, this ain't no type of car that I usually like to buy to flip. I bought this car as a personal car for money making shine. So, but he left me in this <laughs> kind of messed up situation, but I sold worse. It drives pretty good. Y'all see it drives or whatever. I'm posted for $1,500. i am going to try to get $1,500 for it. I mean, I think it would make somebody a good car a good truck especially if you're trying to out here like that lady right now she's collecting junk like a lot of people junk out here you can go strap uh, a scrap pick up scrap and um i said strap scrap and um haul it you can haul stuff i mean it's a work truck man i'm gonna do a little walk around for y'all real quick so it's a little, it's just a little work truck, man. There's no check engine light, and I got ABS and a brake light. I got, I think that's the uh, airbag light. But man, it's, I'm just listening to the work truck. It did not have no carpet. I don't know. Do y'all remember when I first got it? I mean, it's all right. You know what I mean? It's decent. He started painting on it. He started to paint on it. He should have just painted the whole damn car. I don't know what the hell. He sanded He started sanding it down, so he made it worser. Way worser. Black. Made it way worser. Hey, by the way, how y'all like how I've been not cussing in none of my videos for the last past five videos, at least? I haven't been cussing, so I'm trying to clean it up, man. But, oh, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck happened? I don't know what the Yeah, and y'all know we keep it raw and uncut over here, though. I don't got nothing to hide. If y'all guys want to buy a 15, 1500 our best offer, um, I just got done spraying, spraying everything. He's painted the back. Oh, here goes the other little cap, too. You know, I got to take, y'all know I got to take the picture with this on there, though. You know, you know, give them the whole visual. You know, I got to have that on there. Got that? Oh, let me see. It's heavy facing up. Okay. Maybe it was better. Oh, what way was it? Was it better this way? What the hell? It was sitting. I just left it alone. There we go. So let me go ahead and pop this hood. So he's saying, hey, he's saying this thing. Damn. He painted the uh, front bumper. He should just painted the whole thing. No, guys, I'm not. I don't even want to put. I don't even want this car. I'm not going to take it to make up. I'm gonna try to sell it like it is. I don't wanna put no money into it. Now I said, man, the engine is solid. I think he put a new battery in there. But um, strong engine, let me rev it up for y'all. You know, the belt's only squeaking because I got water on there. I just sprayed the engine off, so. Damn. <laughs> But it'll make somebody a good truck, man. We up in Oklahoma, man. You know, people ride around here with no windshields. And it might be somebody that just don't have no vehicle, man. Just got a lump sum or been saving some money. The heat at work. So, shit, it's about, to, it's about to be cold. It's about to be cold. So, it'll make somebody a good truck. I, me personally... 
it's not my style but i mean if i wanted to i could fix it up but i'm not even gonna waste my money or my time i got too many other projects hey but what y'all think about that me keeping that 71 monte carlo that silver one man i posted a video today i just dropped the short so y'all let me know go over there and comment and let me know should i keep that in the fleet i'm probably gonna i'm gonna fix everything i need to fix that's man that's content for for days with that one i got a lot of things i want to do to that car i'm gonna get that thing i'm gonna get it right if i keep it or not i'm gonna get it right that's my plan to get uh get that car right i gave up on the hunt looking for a 96 i'm like forget that car i'd rather my the uh 71 monte carlo way better um and way cheaper believe best believe way cheaper and it's worth more you know i go buy a 96 man can't even get my money back from it when it's time for me to go sell it but um yeah man i don't even know what else to show y'all man because you know i'm not really too proud of this car but like i said it'll make somebody a good little work truck it's warm they can someone could that could do carpet you'll be somebody that that know how to work on stuff they don't got that much money you know what i'm saying so um i just i i've been selling cars so long i've been selling cars that people first car people that been i've been saving for a whole year you know and they only came up with fifteen hundred dollars like man i i know how people struggle you know what i mean i know how people struggle man everyone don't don't got to get up and grind like me or you know or like you guys or you know everybody don't so but like that's why i used to i i think i like i appreciate selling the cheaper cars because i like to hear people's stories man i like to help out people when i started selling them, them uh more expensive cars yeah it was more nicer did i make more money on them no nah, not really but you know but like with the older cars yeah you have some sometimes you have problems with them sometimes you get good ones for cheap but i like i don't know i just like helping out people when you know you're helping out someone but you're helping yourself out at the same time because you're making money on the deal but you know you uh i don't know i just like helping helping out people when they be like man this is mine man i finally got me a car man they happy with their buddies and stuff man that's that's the type of stuff i like man that that type of stuff feed i, I feed off that energy i'm like yeah let me go get another one to help out somebody man you feel me so i don't know who is this pulling up in that uh cobalt that looks like a cobalt i wanted to go get man but um yeah man i see it man i need to pull up i don't know what they waiting for pull up or, or or move out i'm about to take my picture you know but um yeah guys so oh it got the it got the hitch it got the hitch man so if y'all guys want to haul something or tow anything this work That thing worked. Yeah, he, I mean, I don't know what. Yeah, he painted it. He started painting it and then, I don't know, but red is the hardest, hardest car to even paint or do anything like that. What's going on, man? Oh, you trying to take a picture right here? Yeah, hold on. Well, yeah, man. Yeah. Here, here. No, no, go ahead. You gonna do it real quick? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I still gotta take pictures, but go ahead. I'll let you do it first real quick. I'm gonna take a little longer. Yeah, yeah, I know him. I was looking at that cobalt when he was uh, about to bid on it too. Another dealer I know. He's cool though, his, his car lives right up here. Ugh. I wasn't gonna make him wait. I'm still over here talking. He ain't gonna take that long to take pictures, but yeah, man. Um, that's pretty much, man. I know I'm ranting on on this video. You know, I just I was gonna just drop this video, the video I recorded yesterday by itself, and this video by itself. But I'll just put them together, man. I'm dropping whatever I whatever I come up with, man. I'm not gonna be collecting videos just to make them longer, just to make them extra lit, man. If I how I feel that day, if I'm talking and it's over at least, man, it don't even matter how long the video. I don't care if it's three minutes. I'm dropping it. 
If it's 10 minutes, I'm dropping. If it's an hour, I'm dropping. Y'all gonna get whatever I record that day. I'm gonna drop it just so I can get the videos out. Let me just get it out. You know what I mean? I'm not, I, I'm doing this YouTube stuff. I want, I want it to be fun. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be fun. I want to get to y'all, talk to y'all. Um, I might bring the live videos, but go over there to Lucky Nation Station, man. I've been uploading lately. Uh, I've been going live. I'll probably do uh, a live watch movies, you know, with y'all. Probably do. Uh, I'll probably do a lot of my reaction videos with y'all live, man. That, you know, because a lot of that copyright stuff, man, that stuff is hard. So, and then they be trying to take the videos down and all that. So I'd rather go live and, and enjoy y'all and talk to y'all while and. If y'all guys got any ideas what I should watch while I'm being live, we'll just keep it lit over there on Lucky Nation Station, man. Um, the, uh, oh, he's still there taking pictures. He don't take pictures better than me. But, um, but, um, yeah, man. So, what's going on? I need to hurry up and take these pictures before it get dark, though. Hey, you almost done. But, um, yeah, guys, man. Oh, make sure y'all get y'all raffle ticket. 25 bucks to enter man i got deals package deals man i just can't i really cannot wait i really cannot wait i really can't wait to 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 like you know i just can't wait to see who wins the car man like i said i don't it don't matter it don't matter who win like i got family members that entered i got friends that entered I got subscribers that entered, people I don't know that entered. The the computer gonna pick the whole oh shit, I left my whole fucking thing open. Oops, dang I slipped up and cussed. My bad. And no I'm not gonna edit it out. Well, let me get this out the street though. Yeah. I was ready to ran you over, baby. Put that right there, but yeah guys man, enough of me ranting on, rambling on. Um, y'all guys interested, y'all know how to get in contact with me. Lucky Wills and Deals on IG. Lucky Luciano on Facebook. Join the Facebook group. Lucky's Wills and Deals. Y'all can post as much as y'all want. And, um, yeah, that's it, man. So, shout out to the whole Lucky Nation. But just like that, this video's over. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe. Lucky Wills and Deals, and I'm out. Yay!